I want to welcome you to Prodigal Son Ministries podcast. This is week 12 of a study in Ephesians. Oh, I thank God for the opportunity that that he has given us to do these studies. Now, the Lord's led us to go back and 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 go through this card one by one again. We we do this. We done this on um, years ago, uh, June twenty first of two thousand twenty one. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna uh, encourage you to go back to June twenty first of two thousand twenty one and listen to all of these because we've been through this study. It's been years now, and and it's going on three years. I think I think I'm right. Twenty one. This is twenty four. Yeah, June twenty first of this year will be three years that we've been going through this in him scripture study. But we went through. Uh, the the whole card, and we're going back through it again. Were our scripture by scripture. The first time we done it, it wasn't in line with this card. This time we're going to go completely through this thing and 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 do a were or were our scripture by scripture study on it. And then on on Sundays we're going to do a, a recap of that week and and do a video. And it'll come out on the podcast. So Sundays, uh, if you're if you don't have a, a home church, you're not in church somewhere, you're traveling or something, you you'll have a a, a a video that you can watch on your phone. So you pray for us. We the Lord's led us to go back and do this again, and 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 we've got our video stuff starting to to come around and 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 I just felt like that this audio podcast I needed to do it through the week to uh, reinforce people to go to this audio podcast and and get a hold of what we're teaching on Sundays. So unless the Lord changes my mind, this is the way this this format of this podcast is going to go. We're going to study the word. And we're going to live and walk and, and understand that, that, that what God says about us is true and we can stand in it. I thank God for that. I want to encourage you to download this, this podcast app. Get it on your phone so you can get a hold of what we're doing. This podcast app is being looked at right now to go on tablets in, in jails and prisons all over this nation. Uh, so you pray for this, this ministry because that's our goal is to get this, these scriptures, these videos, these audio podcasts into these jails and prisons to help these inmates see and understand who they are in Christ and get them out of there and they, they'll never come back. But listen, this is for their families too. And I want to take this time to thank all the partner, the partners of this ministry. Partners, thank you. You have a big part in this ministry, helping us do and minister to people all over this planet on this podcast, in the jails and the prisons, to the family members, and helping us get this stuff available to these tablet companies so people can grow strong in, in the Word of God, not in religion, not in just how good they can be, but in the Word. Thank you, partners. I pray Mark 10, 29, and 30 over you today, a hundredfold return over everything that you sow into this ministry. Now, I want to urge you, if you're not a partner, pray about becoming a partner of this ministry. Pray about what God would have you to do to help us reach the 6,400, oh, there's almost 6,400 jails and prisons in this nation with the truth in God's Word, teaching people who they are. Pray about what you can do to help us reach all these jails. We're approved in almost a thousand jails right now on their tablets, but there's a lot more to go. There's a lot more to reach out and touch, and it, it, it's through partners like you that helping us with the financial part of this to have the time, the equipment, the 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 means to be able to do this on a full time basis to reach the people of this world. So pray about becoming a partner today. It thrills me to be able to bring you these prayers. I want to encourage you, don't skip through these prayers. Go to these to, to uh, Ephesians 1 and Ephesians 3 and read these with us. They're in the notes in the, in the New Living Translation, but you can read them in any, any translation. Read these prayers, what 
Paul wanted the Ephesians to understand. I want the world to understand today. And that is just how much God loves you. Just how much he cares. Ephesians 1.15 says, Ever since I first heard of your strong faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for God's people everywhere, I have not stopped thanking God for you. I pray for you constantly, asking God, the glorious Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to give you spiritual wisdom and insight so that you might grow in your knowledge of God. I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope he has given to those he called, his holy people, who are his rich and glorious inheritance. I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe him. This is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated him in the place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly realms. Now he is far above any ruler or authority or power or leader or anything else, not only in this world, but also in the world to come. God has put all things under the authority of Christ and has made him head over all things for the benefit of the church. And the church is his body. It is made full and complete by Christ who fills all things everywhere with himself. Ephesians 3, 14 says, When I think of all this, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep his love is. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Now all glory to God who is able, through his mighty power at work within us, to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Glory to him and the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations, forever and ever. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I thank God. He opens my eyes to that love more and more every day of his life, or every day of my life, and he does it through his word. Oh, I thank God for his word today. Let's see what God's word has to say today. Father, I praise you and I thank you, God, for your word. Lord, guide me. Use me for your honor and your glory. And I'll forever give you all the praise and glory for it all. In Jesus' holy name I pray. Amen. Okay, we're uh, going to be in Ephesians six twenty three today. It, this is this is a uh, so strong. It is so strong. It talks about peace, God's peace. Ephesians six twenty three says, "Peace be to the brethren, and and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus and the Lord Jesus Christ." Our Lord. Oh, goodness. That New Living Translation says, Peace be with you, dear brothers and sisters. And may God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ give you love with faithfulness. He's, he's, uh, he's going out and he's furthering his, his push for these Ephesians to come to understand that he, he's, he's blessing them. He wants them to find the peace that he has found. In Christ Jesus. Let me read the Amplified Classic. It says, Peace be to the brethren, and love joined with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ the Messiah, the Anointed One. He said, Listen, I speak peace over you. I I want you to understand something today, that there is peace in the knowledge and understanding that that you are who God says you are. Now, listen to me. I, I've got another scripture. Let me let me uh, look here and and see if I can find it. So that I, I want to read what Jesus said. Listen to this. It comes out of John fourteen twenty seven. It says, "Peace I leave with you." It says, "My peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, not as the world giveth." Give I unto you, let your heart, let not your heart be troubled, let neither let it be afraid. 
If there's anything in this world that God wants to give us, and that is peace in this world. Peace that passes all understanding. He don't want you carrying the the weight of the world on your shoulders. I I, I was invited to go. I go to a, a local jail here. I say it's local. It's about an hour from here. But I found a home over there in that community, and the church that 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 sponsors that. Uh, program that visitation program that ministry pro- program that they they allow into that jail and they've given me a spot there uh, and I, I thank God for it. Oh, a door is open there that that is just it's it's astounding what God's done in the last few months over there. Not through me, but just through uh, me being able to bring in the truth and carrying the truth into that jail, but. Uh, I was sitting over there the other day. We're we're studying Job. They invited me to come to their Bible study. I'd been to their Bible study before, but it's kind of just worked out that you know the pastor of that church says, "Come on to the Bible study. You're coming. You're coming in during the day." And he said, "Come to the Bible study." So we, I did. And they're studying Job, and uh, I want you to get this: to have peace, peace in your heart, and to. To live strong in this world, you have to have God's peace in your heart and you know, not the peace of, of, of what you can accomplish in this world or $10 million in the, in the bank. If I had $10 million in the bank, uh, you know, that uh, not to say that wouldn't, uh, suffice some things that as that, uh, I need in this world, but my peace wouldn't be in that money. My peace is in Christ Jesus, my Lord and Savior. And I got to talking about this the other morning. I said, listen, I said, every time God spoke to, to man through an angel or through, you know, him, through, through him reaching out to mankind, the first thing that he always said was fear not. Don't be afraid. Fear not. And, and listen to me. This is so important that we get hold of how we don't have to fear. And and you don't have to fear when you've got peace in your heart about where you stand with God. Not that you've been righteous in your lifetime. Or you, you've done a few righteous acts that's brought you a little satisfaction uh, in the world that you live in. No. But you have come to the point in your life that you know without a shadow of a doubt that you stand where Jesus Christ stands in this plan. You're in Christ Jesus, your Lord and Savior. And God sees you in him. And there's a peace in that. There's a peace that passes all understanding. You know, there's a, a rock group that sings a uh, th- sings a song. It talks about serenity, and and uh, it talks about you know seren- serenity is a state of mind. Uh, a serenity is a uh, a peace of mind, not not in heart, but in mind. But a, a peace, the peace that Jesus Christ brings you and wants wants you to have in this world is a completely total peace of being. In other words, uh, spirit, soul, and body, you know without a shadow of a doubt that you have peace in Christ Jesus, your Lord and Savior. There's something about that that just thrills me to be able to tell you that there is enough peace in Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, to last you a lifetime. And Paul was was blessing the Ephesian people. He said, peace, peace. What what did, what's the 23rd verse say? Is it, or, yeah, the 23rd verse. Let me make sure I got that right. Yeah, it says, peace be to the brethren and love with faith. From God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, my Lord. God wants us to have peace, His peace, that passes all understanding. Now, you can go out here, and I assure you, 
you can find a little peace of mind out here in this world, whether it be in carnal things, whether it be in a in a uh, a bottle or a pill. You can find a, a little relief. But I'm going to promise you something. When those carnal things are gone, when the when the the effect of the alcohol or the pill or the uh, whatever you may be doing to to find that just that little little uh, little uh, time of peace in your heart, it, when that wears off, you're the same old person that you've always been. It takes a change of heart. It takes coming to the fact of the matter that that you're not hunting a worldly peace, but you have found a peace, God's peace, that passes all understanding. That you know that you know without a shadow of a doubt that God loves you and he cares for you and wants more than anything in this on this planet and add it to, to know for you to know that. Know that today. Do that today. Make Jesus Lord. Now this this is so important. I say this all the time to people everywhere I, I everywhere I go, and that is, you've got to know where you know that you know that Lord Jesus is your Lord and Savior. That's the most important thing you'll ever do in your life. And if Jesus, if you know that today. The second most important thing in your in your life or the most important thing in your Christian life is for you to come to the place in your life that you know who you are in Christ Jesus, your Lord and Savior, that you know who you are in that salvation that Jesus died to give you, that you know that you've got a, a, a payment that has been paid in full for everything that you'll ever, ever do in this world. I, I said this yesterday, but it, it bears uh, repeating. Your sin is none of the devil's business. Jesus took upon himself the sins of the whole world, past, present, and future. And if you will come to that place in your life that you know beyond knowledge and understanding that God, that God loves you, and he cares for you, and he wants more than anything in this world. For you to know that, when you come to that knowledge, that he has cleansed you from all unrighteousness, and you come to the place that God, that you know without a shadow of a doubt, that you're born again. Honey, there's something about that that will set you free. That's, that's, that's a peace that only, only God can bring you through the truth in his word. But if you don't have that peace in your heart today that you are born again, I'm, I'm here to, to tell you that salvation is so easy. Salvation is so easy. All you have to do is confess Jesus as Lord of your life and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. It says you shall be saved. It don't say you might be if you're good enough. It says, if you'll confess Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, it says you shall be saved. Do that today. Make Jesus Lord of your life if you never have. Confess him as Lord. It says, for with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That's all it takes to be born again. Won't you do that today? Won't you allow Jesus Christ to come into your heart, into your life, and save you. He will. I promise you he will. God, I'm telling you, make Jesus Lord today and let him change your life like it's never been changed before. Glory to God. Hey, listen, go to our website. This is the last week of a, of a study in Ephesians. But I, I want you to understand something. If you will go back, to June twenty first of two thousand twenty one, and get a get a good, good strong understanding of where you are in your salvation. It'll change your life. This is the life week of a study in Ephesians, and and we're going to go through and 
start here in a couple of weeks. I don't I don't know if it's next week or the week after, but we're going to start. We're going we're going to revisit uh, the uh, the study. Uh, that we done on this car, this in him scripture study, because we, when we started these videos, we started these videos and and they weren't very good. So we're going to go back and and re record all the videos. And the Lord's led me to to do this in him scripture study again on this podcast. And I don't know if it's next week that we started or the week after. But I want you. I want you to get a hold of this. These videos are coming out on this on this podcast app. Download this app and go through this study with us. We're getting ready to do it five days a week, scripture by scripture, all the way through it. It should take us forty one weeks to do it. But on Sundays, we're going to do a a, a podcast recap on all those scriptures, and we want you to grow strong and who you are in Christ. So go to the website. Get in touch with us. If you're a partner of this ministry, partners thank you for all that you do, sowing into this ministry, helping us do what God has commissioned us to do, and that is to give His Word away free of charge all over this planet. Partners, I am so thankful that you have the, that you faithfully support this ministry so that we can reach the, oh, the prodigals of this world. Thank you, partners. I pray Mark 10, 29, and 30 over you today. A hundredfold return over everything that you sow in this ministry. If you're not a partner, pray about becoming a partner. Pray about what God would have you to do to sow into his kingdom today. Go to our website. Get in touch with us. It's the-prodigalson.com.